besties welcome back to my channel if you're new here go ahead and click that subscribe button click that bell you just gained a new best friend in today's video we're going to discuss foundations module at usu so if you are interested in finding out what happened during that module stick around let's get into it Okay, so Foundations module was definitely a beast. So for those of you that are interested in applying to USU, please get ready to study, okay? Medical school is definitely different from undergraduate. That's the first thing I'm gonna let you guys know. You cannot wait until last minute to study the amount of information that they are giving you. So I'm gonna give you guys the first week and tell you exactly what classes we were taking each day, just to give you a minute idea of how many lectures you're gonna have on a regular. So I'm going to choose August 23rd that week, which was honestly the first week we started our module. So that first day we had four lectures um, the lectures were biomolecules, biomembranes, intermolecular forces, introduction to medical interviewing. Now, all of the lectures are pre-recorded, so that's definitely a good thing. So your girl had it on times two because that's a lot of information to sit there on times one. I need to speed it on up. So that's definitely a great thing I think they have that all the lectures are pre-recorded so you can go ahead and watch them at any point in time, but you are held responsible for that information. So you wanna make sure you watch the videos. Now I will caveat and say, when you get in medical school, because once again, all my besties are going to get in medical school, please do not wait until it's time to take the test to study. You should be studying every single day, okay? Because it's too much volume of information to wait at the end of like for the midterm or wait to the end for the final to study because we only take a midterm and a final so that's three to four weeks in between of information and if you're getting four to five lectures a day you need time to grasp all that information and have time to perform your active recall to make sure you can perform well in your exams so that was a Monday. Tuesday of that week, we had acid-based buffering. We had introduction to um, medical physiology and molecular medicine, and we had cells and organelles. Now that day, we also had a lab, which was for medical interviewing. And honestly, that's probably my favorite class because you get to interact with patients at Walter Reed as well as interact with standard patients to kind of fill out the HPI and the chief complaint and learn how to talk to, you know, different people and get those important facts out so you can figure out what their diagnosis is. So I honestly love that class. My preceptor was amazing. And it was really an awesome class. That class would last from one to four, and we'd get about three to four standardized patients if we were online to work with. And if we went in person, we would get to talk to maybe three or four patients that are currently at Walter Reed. Um, in the medical interviewing classes, we are broken up into fire teams, um, and you go to this class with your fire team. So. That was a Tuesday. Now for Wednesday, the lectures we were responsible for were protein um, structural organization, introduction to statistics, amino acids in protein, and protein structure, function, and relationship. Now these lectures can range anywhere from 15 minutes to an hour and a half. So you want to make sure that you you have you set time aside to watch these lectures because once again you are definitely responsible for this information so you want to definitely take the time to watch them. Now on that Wednesday we also had a literature search strategies um, that we were responsible to watch as well as um, 
the upperclassmen gave us a panel on how to utilize secondary resources. So shout out to the upperclassmen the second years because they definitely were amazing in trying to help us through this foundations module um, with, you know, giving us advice, giving us resources, how to use these resources. Um, they gave us a pass down folder to all the information that, you know, they may have collected throughout the years that was passed down to them. Um, and, you know, it was a real great resource to have them to kind of help us through this like new experience. So that was Wednesday. Thursday of that week, we had just the four basic tissues. Um, and this was our histology lab. Now with the histology lab, they explain all you know the tissue types or whatever you're talking about and then they show you a bunch of pictures it's a good thing to definitely pay attention to those pictures and pay attention to extra slides and the extra practice that they have available because those same pictures may come up again so i would definitely advise you to pay attention to that stuff um that day we also had a physical exam lab so this is where we're learning how to do the full body examination basically each week they taught us what to do so we started at the head you know checking the eyes checking um the ears the nose all the way down until the last week where we at that point we could do a full body examination so that lasted between one to four and they're just breaking down how to do it and then giving you that time to practice so that was another class that was probably right under medical interviewing for me that are one of my favorites but definitely like that in-person interaction we got to practice on our classmates which once again is your fire team so that was fun and then friday of that week we had nucleic acid structure and dna replication and DNA repair and recombination. Um, we also had a small group histology and then they offered a practice histology. So definitely a jam-packed schedule, right? And on top of all that stuff, had to work out, had to study, had to sleep. So I'm not going to sit here and tell you guys that I established a schedule at any point in time of foundations module. I my only goal every day was to finish all the lectures and make sure that I completed, um, you know, studying any type of study. So after that first week, I would basically take the day we're actually on, like, let's say it's a Monday. Every week before that, I will watch all the Monday lectures. Now I know that may be abrasive for some people, but that worked for me because I have a, I'm a visual learner, so it's way easier for me just to rewatch than to read. I don't really like reading. Shout out to the people who like reading. They give you 33 books to read, so have fun with it. But for me, videos are key. So I will go back and rewatch that day from all the previous week's videos. And that for me really worked well because when it came time for the midterm, when it came time for the final, I didn't feel like I had to really do too much studying because I have been looking at this stuff for weeks at a time over and over again. So that worked out well for me. Um, I did not take any notes um, because at the end of the day, there's so much information being thrown at you and it's already on a PowerPoint. So why waste your time? You don't have time. You don't have time, so don't even waste your time. I mean, if you are a note taker, I'm not sitting here telling you not to take notes. I'm just telling you no, I did not take notes. Um, I did use Anki uh, for the midterm. Now with Anki, if you are gonna use Anki, please start day one. I did do that in the beginning of the module up into the midterm, and that worked out well for me. I did not do that. And the other half of the uh, module up to the final because it was just too toxic like you miss one day you have like 600 cards to do and I just it didn't work out well for me so I'm not ruling out Anki I definitely put on using Anki in our next module which is musculoskeletal but for me that second half of foundations it was really just too much 
to you know incorporate Anki so foundations is definitely to me kind of that weird space between the MCAT and real medical school um, because there's just so many different subjects that a lot of them you probably should have learned before you even got to medical school so the people who majored in microbiology or majored in some of those sciences that we repeated that first midterm of information was probably really easy for them it was the second half where we were getting a little bit in depth and stuff that none of us probably have seen before unless you majored in immunology uh speaking of immunology <laughs> immunology is a beast okay there's so much information and it's very necessary right it's definitely necessary to understand how t cells and b cells work and interleukins and neutrophils that's so important it's so necessary for these future diseases that you're going to learn about but it is a beast and it's a beast because there's so much detail so much detail and you need to know that detail in order to understand what they're even asking you so please understand that immunology is not one to play with it's not one of them okay it's very in-depth very detail oriented so please if you have to watch those videos three four times i i did it i watched the videos like three or four times to really understand it please do because it is a definitely a lot of information so that's more so on the curriculum so i'll tell you guys kind of like as far as being in the class so i personally love the fact that they have split us into fire teams because you're not doing this by yourself and as i told you guys in previous videos usu is super super about team work they tell you first day hey you know the competition is over you guys are all here you guys all deserve to be here work as a team so they switch you in fire teams there's about six people in our fire team i got an amazing fire team we all um you know bring our different um you know different experience to the plate um and it, it's great it's been honestly amazing to work with them in histology and pathology um medical interviewing so i'm definitely happy with my fire team um some things we've came together on like i said is we work together um in our pathology um in the beginning of pathology we'll have a quiz that we have to do and they allow you to work as a team um we also worked as a team with answering some questions as far as medical history we put together some um replies so they've honestly been amazing um we've even had times where we get together and we study together so utilize your fire team they put you in these teams for a reason because they want you to work together you do not have to do this alone it's honestly a lot of information to tackle on your own so utilize your classmates that's what they're there for um there wasn't a bunch of military interactions that we had to do while we were in school which is honestly great because you really need all your time to study there's a few things that we you know we we did but it wasn't much like maybe two or three things that we all had to come together but for the majority you don't have a bunch of military obligations while you are in school so that is definitely a good thing um let's see what else can i tell you guys so the way the exams are set up you get um a mbme exam which is about 95 questions and then you get a faculty exam now for the midterm we only got the mbme exam for foundations for the final we had a mbme exam and we had two faculty exams a, a faculty exam for basic science and a faculty exam for ethics and basically with the faculty exam they cover everything that the mbme does not cover so you want to make sure that you are taking everything that they put out there for you into consideration because if it does not show up on the mbme it's definitely going to show up on your faculty exams so please 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 the biggest advice that i can give you is 
study early please do not wait please do not skip days of not watching lectures because it's going to catch up with you and then next thing you know you're like eight to ten lectures behind and that's very defeating okay so if you can stay up with it i never really got behind with lectures i made sure that i finished all my lectures that day um because with my study plan i had to because i was doing not just that day's lectures but the previous monday's day's lectures and by the fourth week i had four weeks of monday's lectures i had to do so i didn't have the space or capacity to skip a day that wasn't even an option for me with going into the musculoskeletal module um i'm gonna have to readjust i think that for me in my eyes this is really the first real medical school module because it's it's going to kind of follow some of the um supplementary resources because it's organ organ based and system based and that's how a lot of these resources are kind of set up so i'm definitely excited i don't have a real plan yet i'm just gonna kind of figure it out when i get there um after our finals we did get a break so i'm on a four day break which was definitely necessary for me because when i tell you i studied my behind off i definitely say my behind off and my mind needed that rest but i do have to go to bushmaster um next week and i'm be playing a patient for the fourth years and if you don't know what bushmaster is you definitely should look it up it's one of the uh, last operations that the fourth years have to complete with combat medicine and it's honestly a unique experience to usu so i definitely encourage you to look up bushmaster um so you can find out more information about that because i haven't went yet so i don't want to steer you wrong um but as soon as i do go i will make sure to make a video to kind of let you guys know about the experience but i am off to be a patient for them next week so that's definitely exciting but overall i try to keep these videos short so i'm just going to end this video by saying you can get through this okay just put in the work put in the time study active recall all of that will definitely uh, let you pass this module um you deserve to be in medical school if you're applying to medical school you deserve to get in if you need help reach out if you need a tutor reach out um, there's plenty of upperclassmen that are willing to help and assist you if you have questions for me please reach out i always give you guys my email becoming.dr.russell at gmail.com but you can do this you can do this okay imposter syndrome is super real i dealt with it during this module but i made a way to overcome it so i love you guys if you guys have any questions please reach out to me i did have a few of my besties reach out to me and say that they would like to have some interviews um done with some of the upperclassmen so i am going to reach out to those individuals and see if we can set up some interviews for um a second third and fourth year so you can kind of get that perspective of what to expect but thank you so much for following me in my journey and see you guys next video